Steve here, what's up? Hi, Steve. It's uh, Jamie from Invertua. How are you this evening? Oh, hey, Jamie. Good, good. Just wrapped up another day. What can I do you for? Well, I'm calling about your interview tomorrow. We're trying something a little different this time around. Hope you're up for a bit of an adventure. Different? Yeah, uh, I'm intrigued. Lay it on me. So, instead of coming to our corporate office, we thought we'd conduct our interview at a more, let's say, an unconventional location. Ever heard of a bar interview? A bar interview? Uh, can't say I have, but I'm definitely intrigued. Uh, sounds like my kind of thing. Great. We believe it offers a more relaxed environment. It helps us see the real person behind the resume. And we've chosen the bar King Neptunes for tomorrow's interview. Are you familiar with it? Familiar with it? Yeah. I'm leaving there right now. Uh, comfortable setting. I, I like the idea. But uh, why the change in setting, out of curiosity? We're all about innovation, Steve. Not just in tech, but in how we approach potential talent. We want to see how you interact in social settings how adaptable you are, plus it gives us a chance to see another side of you. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm all for breaking the mold. Uh, well, yeah, you can you can count on me to bring my A-game. Anything specific I should prepare for? Or? Just be yourself. That's what we're looking to see. Oh, and maybe brush up on how you handle team dynamics, leaderships, and crisis situations, that sort of thing. We're keen on seeing how you think on your feet. Got it. Team dynamics, leadership under pressure, be myself. I can definitely do all that. Uh, anything else? That should cover it. We're looking forward to it, Steve. It's going to be an interesting day. We'll see you there at 7 p.m. And don't worry, it's a casual setting, but do dress smartly. 7 p.m. Dress smartly. You got it. Uh, well, thanks for the heads up, Jamie. Really looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. That's the spirit. We'll see you tomorrow, Steve. Have a good night. You too, Jamie. Thanks again. All right. Have a good night. Sweet. You see, it's all about timing, understanding the ebb and flow of the market, right? Like, understanding the ebb and flows of the market. If you got that, that's pretty much all you need. Oh. That does sound pretty wild. I've tried to do some research on buying stocks, but I haven't really gotten anywhere with it. Is that so? Yeah, I guess the stock market can be a little intimidating, to be honest. All those numbers, the ups and downs. How do you keep track without losing your mind? Am I right? <laughs> but I do it easily. Well, that's great. My friend says it's like a game. All right, you got to stay ahead, predict the next big move. And sure, there's risk, but uh, that's where the research comes in, I guess. You analyze, you strategize, and when you hit that sweet spot, the payoff is incredible. <laughs> He's paying off his mortgage next month. Sounds like your friend's got it all figured out. You could learn a thing or two from him. I do feel blessed sometimes having that kind of insight, you know? I guess it just takes a certain act, gift. Definitely. I don't know. I just need to put some more time into it, I guess. Sorry to butt in, but um, I couldn't help but overhear a conversation on stocks. You're absolutely right about the research part. So I think there's something to be said about intuition. Sometimes the market's more about reading in between the lines, don't you think? Intuition? I mean, I suppose there's a bit of room for that, but it's not exactly something you can bank on, is it? It feels a little bit like guesswork. Guesswork? Not at all. Think of it as more educated guessing. Take the data, the trends, and then you sort of read between the lines. Read the market's mood. It's not foolproof, but it adds another layer to the strategy. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's one way to look at it, but Still sounds a bit airy-fairy to me. No offense. The market's a beast and you gotta be on that grind to tame it. Hard facts and figures are the only things you can really trust, but I guess a woman like you goes more by feeling or whatever, right? I mean, maybe. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I try to go by numbers too. Do you work in finance? I mean, I'm in tech. Work for a startup, but the big news is I've got an interview with the largest tech company around. It's kind of a big deal. Wow, that's impressive. Working for a startup must be exciting, but moving to a major player is something else. What's the role? Uh, it's a senior position in their innovation department. Looking for fresh ideas, someone to shake things up a little bit, and that's me, all over. Sounds like you're the perfect fit. Must be thrilling having the chance to influence at that level. Absolutely. Look, it's not every day you get a shot like this. What do you do? You seem to know your way around the financial talk, at least more so than most girls I know. I dabble in investments, nothing major. Just trying to make the most of what I've got. Speaking of which, how do you see the tech market evolving over the next year? Any insider tips? <laughs> well, if I knew that, I'd be a millionaire, wouldn't I? But seriously, predicting the market's tricky business. Not something you need to worry your pretty little head about. I'm sure as long as you know how to work the kitchen stove, you'll be just fine. Kitchen stove, what do you mean by that? I'm just saying tech and finance are a brutal market that only the most driven can tame. Women just have, you know, too much on their mind to be able to devote themselves to it. You have to be decisive and precise with everything. Women are a little bit wishy-washy. Wow, that's pretty sexist. Hey, I'm just out here speaking the truth. Maybe 
stick to the safer bets like HR or something. Tech world's a bit more complex than it seems. I'll keep that in mind. Nice talking. Yikes. Hey man, that was a bit uncalled for, don't you think? She's just making conversation. Yeah, well, I'm not trying to make friends, all right? I got bigger things in my mind. Besides, women in business, it's rare they understand the real intricacies. Come on, man, that ain't cool. She was just trying to be nice. You don't have to be so dismissive, man. Dude, I have no time for small talk, all right? Especially when it's about something as serious as my career. No offense to her, but I gotta focus on what's important. Suit yourself. So, uh, we meet again. Look, if you're looking for an apology about last night, I'm not sure what to tell you. I stand by my opinions. Actually, Steve, I'm not here for an apology. I'm here in a professional capacity. Surprise, I'm the one interviewing you for the position at Invirtua. You? Interviewing me? But how? I mean, that's unexpected. Yeah, quite the twist, isn't it? Look, Invirtua values diversity and different perspectives. We believe it leads to better problem solving and innovation. That's why I took the job as head of our tech development team here. Right, uh, innovation, diversity, I get that. Look, about last night, maybe I came off a bit strong. You know how bar conversations go. Look, I understand people say things, but it's also a glimpse into how they think, especially when they're off guard. It's important, Steve, it shows character. Character, sure. Look, I I'm really good at what I do. My resume, I mean, speaks for itself. Shouldn't that be what matters most? Your skills are impressive, no doubt, but at Invirtua, we're not just hiring for skill. We're hiring a person, someone who fits into our culture of respect and inclusion. I get that, I do, and I'm all for respect and inclusion. Last night was just, I don't know, a bad moment, I guess. Well, right, it's those bad moments that can define us, Steve. How we handle them, learn from them. It's about growth. You understand why your comments were problematic? I, I suppose so. I mean, I was being dismissive, maybe a little prejudiced, but I don't know, I've always been taught to focus on the hard facts, the numbers. People's skills were never my strong suit. Yeah, and that's something you can work on, definitely. It's never too late to learn, to change, but for now, it's those very people skills that have led us to our decision. I'm guessing it's not in my favor then, because of a one-off comment? It's not just the comment, Steve. It's the mindset it reveals. And yeah, unfortunately, we won't be moving forward with your application. I mean, that's harsh. Look, I messed up, okay? Everyone messes up. Can't we just look past that and, and focus on my skills, my resume? No, Steve. I'm afraid we can't just look past your blatant sexism. Is this where you give me advice about being a better person? Mm, not exactly, but I will say this. Consider this a learning opportunity. Reflect on your attitudes and how they affect others. It's not just about being a good employee, but it's about being a decent human being. Can I just please have another chance? Can we just start over? Look, I'll buy you a drink, whatever it takes, I'll do it. We all mess up at different points in our lives. It's how we respond to those moments that matters. But until you've grown, you're not what we're looking for at Invirtua. Good luck, Steve. I really hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks, Laura. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. 